Hi guys, welcome back and for the new watches and new subbies, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a set on myself, I'm going to be doing a set on myself. And um, as you guys can see, I've already um, buffed the natural shine from my natural nails. I've applied the tips. I've already shaped these and I'm going to show you how to shape the middle finger. I haven't done that yet as you guys can see, it's a little bit off. I do like my tips or my nails. Um, they're not necessarily coffin. They are slightly uh, tapered square. Um, that's just how I prefer my nails to be done. So we're going to go ahead and file. This file I do use only on myself. I have a file for each client. And um, so yeah. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit hanging from the sides. And you obviously don't want that because it will cause lifting. So I am going to go ahead and file those sides first. Make sure there's none on my skin. And sorry, I do have a lot of fans going on. I don't have the AC. Um, my daughter's in school right now, so I do want the house to be very well ventilated before she comes back. Um, so, like as you guys can see, there's a little bit hanging off. I usually do if like if the size is smaller, I go up with a bigger size just to make you know so it won't, put, won't pop off. Um, so here, let me see. We're gonna there's a little bit hanging off, so we're gonna from like it's on the skin a little. So we do want to make sure we go in and we file that off. Okay, and now we're gonna be doing the lateral size. You do want to make sure that it's not bigger than your nail bed because that's gonna be looking really. It's going to look off and it's not going to look nice. So you want to make sure that it's parallel or goes um, straight, goes along with your natural nail. And um, we're going to do that next. So there's that side. This side's already done. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and taper a little bit the, the square tip. We're going to go to the other side. As you guys can see, there's like a little dip right there. So we're going to go in and bring the file in at a little, ang like a slight angle. Let me double make sure there's nothing. Like it. Okay, so you see there's a little curve right there. We're going to go ahead and file that off. And then bring it to the tip. You don't want to file one side too much because you don't want it to, you know, be a uh, crooked or, you know, a little off. So you go a little bit at a time. And we're going to fix this top part. I don't like to file sideways. I like to file up and down. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to file the sides a little bit more. And I think that's good enough for me. So we're going to go ahead and... remove all the dust from our nails. We absolutely don't want any dust on them. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure they're dust free because that will cause lifting as well. So now I am going to be using um, this LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow and um, I usually use this instead of the Unicorn Powder. It's a lot cheaper and it has a lot more and I use this to make the, um, the Mother of Pearl effect. So we're going to go ahead and tap some on this little contain dab and dish. But we're using the, ba the bottom end instead of the top end so we're going to go ahead and Get some out. We're going to be using this on our middle and ring finger. 
And I'm also going to be using this iridescent glitter. Now I did get some on my fingers, so I want to make sure that it's off and not on there. We're going to be using a little tap and dish. And I got this at a thrift store, and it works perfectly fine. It holds an exact amount for one full set. So we're not going to fill it up. We're only going to be using about half. And if we need some more, we'll get some more because, like I said, usually for a full set, I um, have to fill it completely, not completely up, but about three-fourths of the way. And I do want to show you guys, I do set a little aluminum foil underneath just so the monomer doesn't penetrate all the way down to the table. And I'm going to be using my Alpha Brush Kalinsky number 7. This is new, so I do have to like make sure it's nice and clean. So now I'm not sure what color I'm going to be using, so I'm going to swatch them really fast before using. And this, as you guys can see, is in a white acrylic one, but it's not the one that I'm going to be using. Sorry, I made it myself, so I just, I was done with the colored acrylic, so I decided to make my own. This is a milky pink. Not what I am trying to use. this one. It looks almost like a cover rose. But I actually liked it. And this is a pink. It looks like it has shimmer in it. So. It's actually really nice. Like I said, I made these myself. I just didn't, I had swatched it, but the swatches fell out, I guess, when I was cleaning my little area. But it's a really nice pink. I actually really liked it. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing this color. I'm not sure. I'm stuck between this one and, I don't know. Let me see this one. Ooh, that one has little glitter in it, too. It looks like I'm going to go with this one. It reminds me... It reminds me of the um, pink acrylic from Yes Secret. And I actually really liked it, so we're probably going to go with that one. going to be using our nail pet from Mia's yes Secret. And we are going to be applying two coats. Now we're going to be applying two coats of the Nail Lift Nails Nail Primer. You do want to be careful, make sure you don't get it on your skin. Be 
because it can cause, you know, just, it can cause an allergic reaction and we really don't want that. So just be careful. You can only get it on your nail bed. I am using the Alpha Bush number seven, and it is Kolinsky so. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our middle and ring finger. You know what, actually, we're gonna be applying a bead of, instead of applying a bead straight into that, we're gonna go ahead and apply a very, very thin layer to all the nails before we proceed with the remainder of the steps. Now we're going to go in with this glitter, and I do have, it's an iridescent fine glitter and some iridescent hexes. And we're going to go ahead and brush that on the entire nail. Like see, I did get on the skin, so you do want to make sure you clean it right away. And I don't want it very concentrated or very saturated, so... You do want to make sure that you clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to apply a very thin layer of the clear acrylic. Just so the glitter doesn't move and um, also um, so I can uh, go ahead and apply the shimmer. You do want to make sure that the bead is a little bit on the wet side. It's not too dry. I'm going to take the brush on the monomer. Grab a little tiny bit because a little goes a long way. And we're going to go ahead and just swirl around. Like I said, a little does go a long way. As here it is a little bit too saturated for my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and just move it around apply some of the cuticle area or around the cuticle area and we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that now we're gonna go ahead and encapsulate
So again, we're going to be applying glitter here. Mm. I think that was too much glitter. Now on the rest of the nails, we're going to go ahead and just use a pink acrylic. There's a little glitter there, but I really don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there.
so, then I will click file, and it comes from here. Now we're going to go ahead and file the lateral side, so you can see I did go on, get it on my skin. And you want to make sure you correct that like almost right away. So I'm going to pull back the sides of my skin, just to make it easier for myself. This one's still wet, so we're not going to touch this until the la till last. We're going to go ahead and remove that. We're going to perfect the lateral sides and the tip of the nail. This is what I usually do with my hand file. Again, we're going to go in on the side. Perfect the shape the tip of the nail. So there's the shaping. Like I said, I do have to go over the top of the nail. Like I said, I did build it a little bit too thick, so yeah. I have to remove the bulk, but for now, I'm just going to file the lateral sides, and I'm going to do the rest, and I'll be right back. File the end. I'm using a different file. I don't like this one because this one, you have to, it doesn't like unlock and block. You just have to shove it in, and I really don't like it, so. But I'm just using it for now. I didn't want to take out my other one, so. Like I said, I have to use a sun. Okay, and with this one, we're going to go around the cuticle area. Then it just be going in with our. Goodness, this is why I hate using this. It's so hard to get out. If I don't have a lot of filing, I usually go in with my sanding pound. And yes, it does not fit. I need to find some that fit. I bought these off of eBay a while ago. And um, I still have yet to finish them. So, like I said, if I don't have, feel like I feel have a lot of filing, I usually go in with my sanding pound. once again. Alright, so my hands are washed. Now I just need to dry them really fast. Alright, so we are going to be applying our base and top coat. And I use this fan. Okay, so now we're going to be applying our base coat.
Now with some alcohol and my brush. It's my mild brush. I got it from the from Dollar Tree. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and clean the cuticle area. And obviously your skin, make sure you have nothing on there. We're going to go ahead and clean once again. Okay, now last but not least, we are going to be applying the top coat underneath the nails as well. Because they are translucent. Last but not least, we're applying the cuticle oil. And I like to apply it around my cuticle area as well as underneath the nails because my hands get a little bit too dry. I'm always cleaning and cooking, so my hands are constantly in the water. So we're going to go ahead and massage it in. Alright guys, so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys until next time.